What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Prince of YouTube, PS Compulsion, signing in here, a.k.a. that 21-year-old kid with the light, squeaky voice. And I've been messing around with some trades here on this Bronx Kings My League mode. And I didn't exactly get anywhere with the trades. But before I attempt to go ahead and make any more trades, I decided to re-sign Seth Curry to my team. He was on the team last season, but I didn't re-sign him. But I'm going to bring him back just to add some more players to the roster. So just in case I have to make a trade and I have to trade like three people for like two people, I'll be able to make the trade. You know, just have some extra players. So welcome back to the team, Seth Curry. But look at this sexy three-team trade that I came up with, right? Originally, the Nuggets wanted to take the trade with Ty. Gibson and Kenneth Reed, so I just decided to throw that trade in the mix but my original trade was trying to get Mike Conley on my team and in order for me to get Mike Conley I wanted to trade Darren Collison and Kobe Bryant because the Grizzlies did not want to give up Mike Conley without getting a point guard in return back so I came up with this deal with Darren Collison and Kobe Bryant going to the Grizzlies for Mike Conley and then we're giving up a first round pick and Taj Gibson for Kenneth Reed from the Nuggets and this trade had went through so welcome to the Bronx Kings Mike Conley and Kenneth Reed. this is a sexy ass trade right here I know a lot of people tell me go ahead and trade Kobe Bryant Kobe Bryant just healed from his injury like a day ago so Kobe Bryant, Darren Collison, the newest members of the Memphis Grizzlies, Taj Gibson, the newest member of the Denver Nuggets, and I just feel like that trade was a major boost to our team, especially with Mike Conley now as the starting point guard. We still have Brandon Jennings coming off the bench, but now I gotta find myself a better two guard to start in place of Kobe Bryant and I try my hardest to get Klay Thompson look at this I'm throwing out all the stops to get Klay Thompson I'm surprised that the Warriors are not taking this trade this is a pretty good trade right here like I'm giving up Tristan Thompson and Jalen Brown and a first round pick for Klay Thompson and anybody else the Warriors was willing to give us but the Warriors did not take the trade it did not matter what I threw at the Warriors they did not want to take that trade, bruh. I mean, that would have been the perfect trade. I mean, Klay Thompson on our team, bruh. Our team would have been 10 times better. But I decided to sign Alexi Shred, whatever his name. I can't even say his last name. Shred, 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 Shred. I'm not even going to try no more. <laughs> so I decided to sign him just to have some extra players on the roster just in case I want to trade more players. Just for the same reason that I signed Seth Curry. And I tried my hardest to get Bradley Beal. Now I'm trying my hardest to get DeMar DeRozan. Like, I'm really trying to get some top shooting guard or small forward. I also tried to get Andrew Wiggins. I tried to get Paul George. I tried to get Carmelo Anthony. Like, they did not... No team wanted to trade. Like, nobody wanted Jalen Brown like that. But since a lot of teams are interested in draft picks, I decided to trade Kendall Marshall, Bogdan Bajagovic, and one of my second round picks for Miles Plumley and a first round pick from the Milwaukee Bucks and they actually accepted that shit I really did not expect them to accept that shit like what the hell but they accepted it and now I got Miles Plumley and that first round pick but now like I said I'm still in search for a good small forward or a shooting guard and I decided to trade Gerald Green and my first round pick that I got from the Milwaukee Bucks for Avery Bradley from the Boston Celtics and the Boston Celtics actually agreed to that trade so now Avery Bradley is going to be the starting shooting guard. I think that was a pretty sexy trade right there. And now the only thing that I'm missing is a shooting guard to come off the bench because I traded Bajagovic and I traded Gerald Green. So now we don't really have a backup shooting guard. So I decided to trade for Jared Temple from the Cleveland Cavaliers. And he was the only backup shooting guard that I could get without giving up a lot. So I gave a Miles Plumley and a second overall pick in the NBA draft for Jared Temple from the Cleveland Cavaliers. So now looking at our roster, at the point guard spot we got Mike Conley then at the two we got Bradley at the three we got Jalen Brown at the power forward we got Kenneth Fareed then at the center we got the big man Boogie DeMarcus Cousins then coming off the bench we got Brandon Jennings at the point then we still got Tristan Thompson I was trying so hard to trade that nigga then we got Willie Colley sound coming off the bench as well with Lance Thomas and Jared Temple and then some other players that I might give minutes to um, Seth Curry, Alexi and Josh McRoberts as well the only one of those players that I really give minutes to is Seth Curry because he's a pretty decent three-point shooter and sometimes we get cold on offense and we need some spot-up shooters, some three-point shooters. So those are all the trades that I decided to make and I felt like I did a pretty good job. I got Mike Conley, Avery Bradley, Kenneth Reed, and I didn't have to give up as much as, you know, I expected. So comment in the comment section below. Tell me if I did a great job with these trades. I think that I did pretty well. I think our team is going to be 
twice as better as they were before. Now we got a scoring point guard, a scoring shooting guard. Kenneth Farid there to play some defense down low with Demarcus Cousins. We still got Jalen Brown. So we ended up trading Kobe Bryant as well because that dude was going to get injured like every game. And oh yeah, our team chemistry is at like 15% right now. That's why everybody's stats are decreasing. But after a couple of games when we start to get our team chemistry up, the um, stats should be increasing, so I'm not going to be too worried about that. But anyways, those are the trades that I made. Comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you guys think about it. Like I said, I think I did a great job. I'm really going to miss Gerald Green, though. I'm really going to miss him. Oh, man. And Taj Gibson, too. <laughs> but yeah, let's go Bronx. <laughs>